Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is a conversation between two great personalities. I'm kidding. I know you're talking about a single product, but right. it's just humans are so complex that without UX, we probably wouldn't even know that we that kids could use uh, the, the box instead of the other thing. Because imagine I spent. Uh, I don't know, 100 grand in a, in a really complicated ad campaign about how this doll is the best doll in the world. And I never ever asked real children if they're gonna use the doll or the box. So that's, that's like a really lame but interesting example of how UX could have informed that campaign. Right, so let me give you another example then. Um, I was telling you that I can discover way, new ways in which people are using the product. But then you as a marketing team can tell me this is the way the product should behave in uh, the digital interface, the product should have this personality because you are the one that are setting the brand strategy in the beginning. So I have to take that in, into account because the product itself has to have this personality as well. Uh, money is important. Uh, money is, what is making the world go around and what is paying us to figure out stories and what is paying us to see if a product is viable. But taking it seriously, we're, we're sitting among like UX uh, and marketing are part of the crown jewels of a business strategy, which is right. very, a very important thing that needs to be constantly informed about changes in the market, changes in user behavior, changes right. in whatever, whatever is happening with your product, the business people need to know. Right, uh, I think that it's important that you guys talk, if you're a marketer, that you guys talk to your U UX team and if you are part of the UX team, to talk with your marketing team because you both are trying to accomplish the same goal, which is to make the company or the brand to, to thrive in the market and to be aware of the changes that are happening. And I believe that those changes are happening even faster now, that yes. we all live in this um, hurry lives, on, yeah, hurry lives in our um, digital world. Yeah, we live like in a digital frenzy. Everything is changing so fast. A company grows like a ten billion com uh, two dollar company is suddenly a ten billion company because they grew uh, very quickly. Like we have Airbnb growing in a year. We have Uber after five years or four years. They they're really rich. We have Facebook. We have Newsoft, which has grown like in seven years from a really small house to three offices around Mexico. It's it's right. really it's really impressive. And j just to make it clear. If you're a CEO or a chairman, executive of the board, whatever, and you have a marketing team and a UX team, get them in a room, get them talking to designers, get them talking to developers, get them doing something together. Because right. if, if, if there's something you can get out of this is, it's one simple discipline, which is making money, but making it mean something for users. Right. Exactly. And I think the, the activity that both marketers and UX designers can do together is actually talk to people. Yeah, talk between each other, but mm -hmm. talk to our customers, talk to the users, so you can understand what the hell is going on. <laughs> <laughs> what people are actually doing to your precious, right. uh, really hardworking and product. I, I think we are in a, in a time in which you cannot say that we are here to make money just because. Mm -hmm. Because we are trying to make business in a way that is meaningful to everybody to the customer, to the user. I'm trying to make technology or the products being more accessible and more human in a way. And what you're trying to do for, from what I can see is to tell a human story of, of, about how those products fit into people's life I'm trying in a to way that is meaningful. Right. How people relate to products and what, how, the, how a product can advance a people's story or how can uh, the story of a product intertwine with a customer's story. So then it's one and the same. And then I'm, I'm Jorge because I like Apple. And, I'm, and Apple is there because he, he or she or it is liked by me, you know? Like, right. It's uh, like a friend, I guess. <laughs> that's really creepy, but still, like, I, think, I think that's it. Yeah, I think the market is changing so rapidly. And mm -hmm. um, when you mentioned that now you guys are calling marketing growth, actually, mm -hmm. I think that's really interesting because market, it, it, sounds like such a cold world, cold world. And I think yes. it doesn't represent what's going on with people in, in their particular lives. I, I would say UX is, is a very weird word. Like user experience <laughs> right. seems like you get people's hands off and then like 
twick around with her fingers, or I don't know. Right, we're not gonna get into philosophy in this. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, but, but just to be plain, to be really to the point, we're all part of the same flow, workflow. Right. And it's important that every part of your team, be it developers, quality engineers, uh, designers, UX researchers, uh, know what is going on in every single way because we are no longer the experts. Right. Users and customers know what users and customers want. So if we, if we try to do a Mad Men 1950 thing and like I know the market and I'm gonna right. do a that's, special that's long thing, gone. that's long gone. We don't have the power to do products that can appeal to people automatically. We need right. to figure out those stories, we need to figure out those habits to actually create something that is of use and can actually, in the end, make money. Wow, I think we finally found that common ground. So this is no longer a competition now. That's because I won. <laughs> no, no, I would like to invite you guys to visit ux.nearsoft.com to see what we are doing at UX. And there's a whole bunch of stories at newsofcom slash blog and newsofcom slash about us and all sorts of things we're trying to do to make uh, people connect with us. So if you don't like the story or you like it or you're falling in love with us, please send us an email. Just visit us and tell us what you think about what we're doing. Thank you. Thank you.